Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this specific video I've got a Samsung tablet T210 but this one is a bit different version, it's 2105. So what I'm going to show you in this uh, video is uh, the tablet is completely gone, no power, nothing going through charging port. So you've got a few solutions how you can fix this. So basically first I replaced the charging port because it was completely broken and I think they did a short to the charging port and that's why it messed it up so check you got connectivity uh, where I'm showing you to the diode capacitor to resistor and the last one is a fuse so if you got anything there like a direct contact from your um, charger main USB port there's nothing else you can try it's just to reflow the main chip because the main uh, charging chip, after you did a short, or might be customer did a short trying to charge uh, its tablet, um, because the PCB is quite really shitty, unfortunately. It's a, it's a, uh, don't don't get me wrong, it's a strong PCB, but the technique they're using when they put back, uh, you know, they they place all the parts, all the components uh, with the machine. It's called a pick up and place machine or something like that, and they put only SMD parts. But the thing is, uh, when they expose the main PCB on the oven, you know, so it melts everything and uh, align it proper on the board, it's I think it's not exposed too much, so it's not enough. So in time, these kind of chips, like small chips, they get disconnected, you know. So it could this could be a cause of uh, why you need to reflow it sometimes, you know. But um, one suggestion is uh, use a bit of flux, MTech flux because it's quite a good one. You can get the more liquid one, it'll be less messy and use only for like few seconds uh, like you're seeing me doing here. Not too much air, 380 degrees to 400 maximum. If you put too much and the air is even even high, it's gonna blow all your parts and it'll, you, you'll, you'll get more time to, it'll get you more time to fix the board after. You'll need to re realign all the PCB, all the components back. So as you can see it's a quite easy repair I'm not going to show you how to change the charging board because that's a quite easy use just a heat gun and that's it and uh, after you align it back as it was before just to put a bit of flux and with the solder station you can reconnect all the all the pins back to PCB make sure you you've got a proper um, soldered uh, connector because if that's uh, uh, not done proper how you how you can know that that's a charging IC you know so Sometimes you can even try uh, before you check for the IC if it's a drawing current if it's less than uh, 16 milliamps uh, 160 milliamps or 200 less than that milliamps uh, then it's definitely some some sort of issue or it's a uh, half shorted somewhere you know the board is half shorted so it's not drawing enough current usually it should be like at least um, about uh, 460 milliamps half a, half an amp or something like that maximum so I'm gonna show you after I put it back uh, everything is working fine it's charging it will charge slow mine tablet is gonna charge slow because I don't have a stronger charger I've got just 2 amps usually you can get 3 amps 4 amps from HTC I think or something like that and it, it will charge quite fast believe me so after I put everything back um, I'll show you that it's charging after you did a charging port or charging uh, situations you know in any device you do any any phone any tablet any any device if you change a chip or whatever make sure it charges from zero to a hundred but if you can't wait too much because the customer is in a rush just make sure it charges for at least 10 percent and you need to record and um, how how long did it take to charge it you know so let's say for 10 percent for this tablet it has like a, I don't know I think it's a, a four watts or something like that I, I don't remember I need to check so if in 10 in 10 minutes it is not charging more than 5% it it means your charge is quite uh, quite slow you know it's quite weak but um, in this case in 10 minutes if you got like 5 uh, in my case if you got 5% that's quite fine quite quite okay you know nothing to worry about you can give the tablet back to the customer everything is okay so you might need to sell him or might be a stronger charger so as you can see putting back everything I'm not gonna show you how you close it back because this is quite an easy repair anyone in this field you should know uh, by now my channel is about only how to fix uh, 
main uh, main faults, you know, or something like that. But I'm specializing also in uh, refurbing LCDs. So in my next video, you'll see videos about how to professionally refurb LCDs. You know, like any kind of LCD using Oka technique, Oka lamination technique. And um, so as you can see, it's quite easy. Nothing complicated. Make sure when you reflow the chip, you're not using too much temperature, like 450. And you're not using too too high air, you know, like too much because it's gonna blow everything. Believe me, everything is gonna just it's gonna be a huge mess, and you have to realign everything, everything, and it's gonna take you a long time. So I'm just a bit cleaning. So so this battery already boosted. Uh, I put it into a separate charger, so I wanna check it before if it's charging or not, you know. It's already 39. This charger what I'm using it's, it's like 500 milliamps. It's a slow charger, but I'm using just to to. It has a, like an LED on top, so it shows you if it's uh, red, it means it's drawing current. If it's green, it means uh, there's some shorts or something like that. It doesn't doesn't even uh, get current to the tablet. So as you can see, I'm using like a USB. You see, 5.11 volts, and you've got 430 amps, uh, milliamps. Sorry. That's it. Now it's uh, it was the nine, but I just put it back. So after a few minutes, you see it's forty one, forty three million.